Hi guys, welcome to Taste to Explore. My name is Darlene and on today my friends, because it is my favorite time of the year, which one of my favorites, I love the fall, we are making baked pumpkin donuts. Super easy, super simple, the taste of fall right in your mouth. Now I can't wait to go over to these really basic ingredients and they come together so easily, so delicious and like I said, it's like a bite of fall in your mouth. There's so much flavors going on with the pumpkin spice and I'm using fresh pumpkin. Now let's get right to this recipe. Alright guys, now here is my simple ingredients and what I have here is one cup of regular white sugar and I have a half a cup of light brown sugar. I have a half a cup of vegetable oil. I have two large eggs. We're going to use um, some vanilla extract. I have here my pumpkin pie spice. I have here about a half a tablespoon. You can use as much or as Here is my homemade like. pumpkin parade. I have done a video on that, super easy and simple, or you can use a 15 ounce can. And right here I have one cup of flour, all-purpose flour. I have here one teaspoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of salt. And that is all that you're gonna need to get this started. Now let's begin. Okay, my friends, let's begin. We're going to start with the wet ingredients first. Using my homemade pumpkin right here. Okay. Then we're going to put in two eggs. The oil. And the sugars. The sugars are actually considered um, sort of like wet ingredients and we are just going to mix this to combine. All right, beautiful. Beautiful batter going on right now. Next we're going to put in the vanilla extract. We're going to put in about a teaspoon or two. Perfect. Then our pumpkin pie spice now. And last but least, we're going to put in our flour mixture, our dry ingredients. And that's it, it's my friends. Super simple. And I'm just going to mix everything through. All right, my friends. So right after you finish mixing your batter, we are going to put the batter inside this one gallon Ziploc bag. Now you're going to need a, a large cup just so that way you can stand it in here. And we're just going to needle this right in here. Be careful not to make a mess. Alright my friends, so here I have my baked donut shapers. Um, these are what we're going to fill in our batter with and I have the large ones and you see I have like the little ones, they're so cute. Just lightly spray them with some non-stick spray just so that way your uh, baked donuts doesn't get stuck to the bottom. And that's about it. So you can do either the large ones or large or mini or the combination of them both. Just like you see here. Don't forget to preheat your oven on 350. And now let's begin to fill these. Alright, so I'm doing my mini ones first because it's really simple to do. And I'm just using um, a regular spoon which is about one tablespoon. And I'm just filling them up. And I'm just going all around and that's about it just one time you can fill them up as opposed to be filling them up uh, three-fourths of the way and then that's about it so you just want to give them a little shake so that way it 
can go down and all the air bubbles can go up. I'm going to put this little guy in the oven on 350. My little guys first and then I'm going to show you how I fill up my large ones. Alright, so for this next one, I'm going to take out this batter right here. And I am going to press down and let everything fall on one side. Now, it's so easy and cheap if you just use a Ziploc bag. You don't have to get a special piping bag for this. But you want a good a grip on your bag. And the batter is pretty loose, so work quickly. We just need to fill this up three-fourths of a way as well. So, you, you know, you just do your best. You get your uh, kitchen scissors. Cut off the corner and watch it flow. And that's all to it. And that's it, my friends. And put this in the oven to bake for 18 minutes. See you right back when this Look is all done. how cute. I let them cool in the pan for five minutes. And just with a butter knife, I'm just gently pulling them out. Pulling them, I'm going to put them on my uh, cooling rack facing down because I want that pretty donuts. Alright guys, shape. so I just finished taking out my larger donuts from the oven and I allow it cool for five minutes in here. And how you know it's done because it baked for 18 minutes, it should feel springy from the touch so you'll know they're done. So with a butter knife and gently just help it lift up from the bottom. Ah, look at that. Perfect. So, so delicious. It smells and it looks so All right, so I'm going to continue on making all my donuts. And after these cool off, I'm going to show you how I top them. See you right back. Okay, my friends. So this very last step is really up to you if you want a, a little additional sweetness to it. So right here I have uh, two tablespoons of regular sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mix this together. And this is what we're going to coat our donuts with. This is optional, but it is a little bit of richness and then right here I have one tablespoon of melted butter and th this is what's going to help coat the donuts with the so with these sugar. donuts the larger ones I'm gonna take them and mind you they are cooled off completely I'm gonna take a pastry brush and just coat it just slightly just so that way the sugar can um, stick onto the donuts just like so and then I'm gonna dunk it and just move it around a little bit and voila it is perfectly coated beautiful it smells awesome in here and they will taste good either way if you want a coating or not it's really up to you and then that's it my friends i mean this is done all you need to do is serve them up and eat. all right my friends now it's time to do a taste test and i cannot wait now i am going to get a sugar one the one that was glazed with the sugar and cinnamon on it because it's just calling my name and it is so soft ah, it smells so good I can smell fall. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. 
It's so soft. It's so delicious. Thank you once again, my friends, for joining me today. You know it's a blessing to always have you cook along with me in the kitchen. Make this, and when you do, take a picture and tag me on in social media. I would love to see your creations. Um, don't forget to visit me on my social media sites. I will leave all the measurements to this recipe as well as my social media sites listed below and visit me through chat with me and i will see you again take care bye bye